welcome. Uh, welcome to uh, our pre-rehearsal meeting with the director who's online and with uh, our, the company administrator and also with the cast of our production of Mark and the Marked. Um, before we start telling you a little bit about what's going to happen, I think we should introduce ourselves. My name's Michael, I'm from the company. My name's Joel, I'm in Mark and the Marked, and this is my probably sixth box clever show, and I trained at Rose Bruford on the Actor Muso course, and I'm very much looking forward to starting rehearsals. Hi, I'm Lucy, I'm also in Mark and, Mark and the Marked, and I trained at East 15, and I'm also a fight performer when I'm not doing physical cool things. And yeah, super excited to start rehearsals. Hello, uh, I'm Zaki Ali. Uh, this is my professional stage debut. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's going to be with Box Clever, and I'm very excited. And uh, I'm in Mark and the Marked, and I'm an actor. Hello, my name is Molly. I am the administrator for Box Clever, uh, and I've been working at Box Clever for two years now. Hello, uh, I'm Kitty. I'm going to be directing Mark and the Marked. Uh, I think this is my fifth, possibly sixth show for Box Clever. Um, I'm a director and movement director. I specialise in physical theatre and work for young audiences and I'm really excited to be back. So next um, Monday we start rehearsing. Uh, we've got a two week rehearsal period and we're going to follow rehearsals with you over that period. Um, the piece is uh, unusual in that um, it's described as a, as a play without words, so there's no uh, script as such. I think there's a, there's a, there's a breakdown of, of, of the essential storyline, which is about a page, um, but that's it. Um, so over to the actors, how does that, how does that feel? Uh, you're probably gutted that you haven't got acres of text to learn. Oh yeah, <laughs> gutted. How, Lucy, how, how is that for you? Um, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to it, and what Kitty said earlier, which I think is actually really true, is the tech seems to have a barrier sometimes with audiences. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to explore what just a physicality can kind of communicate to an audience, and yeah, it should be a really fun and physical. So Joe, how do you prepare to, as an actor, I mean, if you, if you had a script and lies to learn, obviously you'd be mm. reading it and and mm. taking it in, so how do you prepare with the, the, for a play that doesn't have a script as such? Well I think that's, I'm kind of asking myself that because a lot of the preparation I usually do is so reliant on the text and dependent on the text so for this I think my main preparation, one is getting fit so I'm going to go for a run every day I think until we start rehearsals and two just getting myself into a mental space where I can kind of throw myself at it and feel nice and free and flexible in the rehearsal room because it sounds like that's kind of what the process is going to demand for this kind of show. Uh, Zachy, what about you in terms of preparation for this? Um, well, it's all about uh, seeing Haken replace those words with movement and uh, sound and how you can... I feel like it's more expressive in a way, but it's more difficult to try and uh, relay a message to an audience. So um, it's going to be fun. Um, prep, um, as Joel said, just be physically fit as possible. Um, just have an open mind. Just be as open as you can. You're free of a, um, as much as, you know. And Kitty, from, from the director's point of view, um, what, what, what would you expect in terms of, you know, this period now before rehearsal start, what would you expect of the actors? Um, I think, yeah, as they've said, it's about an, a, a feeling of openness, a feeling of being up for playing. Uh, this is a, a really playful piece. So much of the structure of the show is based on, on games and on a sense of uh, communication between them. So, yeah, I think it's just coming in feeling happy enough in yourself that you can give of yourself, feeling... Um, uh, able to be open and and to listen to each other and to spark off each other and I think you're yeah, probably coming in without too much of a preconception is actually really helpful for a show like this we need to be there we need to be with the people who are in the room and we will build it together. Thank you for joining us we'll be posting videos each day and um, hopefully you enjoy the journey with us thank you again. <laughs>